The field of genetics flourishes every day, and the hottest journals, such as Nature and Science, are full of new discoveries each and every week. In this video, I will discuss problematic genetic practices which are currently being used and some which are sought for for future practice. Assisted Contraception In vitro fertilization, also known as IVF, is an assisted contraception procedure in which eggs and sperm are incubated together inside of a laboratory. For the male, intracytoplasmic sperm injection, also known as ICSI, is practiced in which sperm are introduced into an egg with a microscopically small needle. By selecting sperm that carry X or Y chromosomes, doctors may be able to inseminate a woman with either male or female sperm and thus guarantee the gender of a baby. One likely development will be the ability to mature eggs from a tiny sliver of tissue taken painlessly from a woman's ovary. This approach theoretically could extend childbearing life, lessen emotional trauma associated with INF, and dramatically reduce the cost of treatment. Embryos will be chemically screened so that doctors can choose those that are more likely to implant successfully in the mother's uterus. The success rate of IVF treatment will therefore increase and the risk of multiple pregnancies will be reduced. Who knows, it may be possible to create artificial eggs or sperm from other body cells to treat people who cannot produce viable sex cells. Germline Engineering Germline engineering, also known as genetic engineering, is a controversial idea which grants parents a real prospect of having a child specific with desirable characteristics. The therapy is not yet technically feasible, but would involve changing genes in sperm, eggs, or embryos to create genetically modified people. How's that for artificial selection? The altered genes would exist in every cell in a person's body and would be passed on to his or her descendants. Many people have deep concerns about how genetic science could change the way we have children in the future. There are fears that parents will one day be able to design the personality and appearance of their children from a menu of genetic options. Valuable genes will be highly sought after, and people will pay a premium for the genes that could make their children intelligent, successful, popular, or attractive. If such a technology will become possible, which I doubt it will, it will be only available to the wealthy. In time, society will gradually become divided into a genetically enhanced elite and a biologically inferior underclass. Nanotechnology Have you ever played Metal Gear Solid? An area of general technology that is expected to have widespread application in the future of genetics is nanotechnology. This field involves constructing tiny machines and materials atom by atom, such as the nanotube. In theory, nanomachines smaller than the body cells could be guided to remove obstructions from blood vessels or kill cancerous cells. Drugs could be carried to specific target sites in the body by nanoshells. Nanoshells are tiny medicine-packed particles whose movement and action could be controlled by light or infrared radiation. The outcome will be that patients, or in the case of Metal Gear, soldiers, will practically be immune to infection or disease. Genetic Profiling One major benefit expected to come from the Human Genome Project, which has deciphered the genetic instructions for making a human being, is genetic profiling. A genetic profile will reveal the diseases for which a person is most likely to suffer. Such profiles would enable people to avoid activities or substances that might trigger their diseases. Profiles will also enable doctors to tailor medical examinations and treatments to individual needs. As we learn more about how genes and drugs interact, doctors will be able to prescribe only drugs that are compatible with a person's genetic profile. There are, however, ethical, legal, and social concerns about genetic profiling. Some people might feel doomed by a discovered profile and choose not to marry or pursue a particular career. Worse, insurance companies or employers might demand access to genetic profiles and discriminate against people seen as having problematic genes. Stem Cell Research 
A promising area of medical research involves the use of primitive body cells known as stem cells. These cells have the unique ability to develop into many kinds of mature cells, such as skin, blood, liver, brain, or muscle cells. Most body cells are already differentiated and specialized for one particular function. When cells become specialized, they often lose the ability to divide and generate new cells. Those that still can divide can only produce cells of the same type. Stem cells, in contrast, can renew themselves and give rise to a wide range of tissues. The cells in embryos are a supreme example of stem cells. As an embryo develops and grows into a baby, its stem cells differentiate to form all the tissues of the human body. In babies, children, and adults, stem cells can currently be obtained from only a few parts in the body, such as bone marrow. Stem cells taken from bone marrow seem to be able to form only a limited range of body tissues. However, evidence suggests that stem cells from embryos can be manipulated artificially to give rise to any type of tissues. Embryonic stem cells therefore seem to have the most potential for treating disease. It is thought that the blood in a baby's umbilical cord, which can be collected shortly after birth, might be a good source of stem cells, but isolating and growing them from this source has proved to be difficult. Stem cells could be used to regrow damaged tissues of organs from transplant operations. One of the current problems with transplants is that foreign tissues, such as donated organs, are likely to be rejected by the immune system unless the patient takes powerful immunosuppressants. Stem cell research may lead to several ways around this problem. One strategy is to transplant tissues that have been derived from a patient's own stem cells. Another is to modify embryonic stem cells genetically so that tissues derived from them are less likely to trigger an immune reaction, even if the cells are implanted into another person. A third option is therapeutic cloning. This technique would involve fusing of the patient's genetic material with an empty egg cell from a donor. Any embryo that develops thereafter will be stimulated to produce stem cells, and these cells will be immunologically compatible with the patient. Stem cell research has been a hotbed for controversy, especially as it pertains to religious adherence. Some people, therefore, oppose the research on ethical grounds because it involves the utilization of human embryos.